All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. Um, I was in Manchester yesterday, the day before recording this, and uh, it was the bank holiday weekend, and I thought, oh, I'll get a few beers um, to last me. Not just the bank holiday weekend, but also the week leading up to uh, Rington Farm Fest. Um, but I feel like having a couple of beers. It's Friday, I've just gone in from work. Um, I've just finished that and my god that was that was special um, I've got some frozen Donner some chips in the air fryer um, and yeah I thought you know I'll have another beer maybe I'll have one more later on tonight because um, I need to get reviews recorded but um, yeah so that's why I'm here and that will go off in a couple of minutes so I will have to tend to it um, but yeah it is what it is so yeah anyway man uh, today we're going over to Cloudwater and this is a can of Volley which you can see a lovely photograph of uh, two people participating in volleyball and it's 6% ABV and it's a West Coast IPA Pick this up from, um, what's it called now, Ancoats uh, Corner Shop, Ancoats Speciality Store, I can't really remember, um, but I picked this up and uh, yeah, then went to beer off, picked up a few more beers and uh, yeah, the rest is history, my friends, but it's Friday, even though I'm work tomorrow. Um, so I don't really have a weekend, but it's bank holiday weekend, so I'm sure I'll probably end up picking up some cheap lager on my way home. God, what's happened to me here? Um, probably pick up some cheap lager on my way home. Shut up. Uh, tomorrow after work. So we, sh we shall see how it goes. But I know for a fact that this, this beer that I've bought will not last me. Um, because I've not really sort of like really treated myself to some good beer for a long time. Well, I have because I did a trembling man disorder not too long ago that I'm still paying for. But you know what it is, you know how it goes. We all know how this story ends. Those chips are, but I'll lift that one out and have a snack in it after this review. Well, yeah, Frozen Donna, I tell you what, you can get some semi decent um Donna meat from supermarkets now and I know I'm not on camera hello um so that makes this video just trash like most star but it is what it is so I'm just gonna get this sorted Ooh. There we go. So, um, yeah, a West Coast IPA from Cloudwater. Um, I've noticed that we're getting some interesting stone beers, like classic stone beers. So whilst I was in um, Beer Moth, picked up a, a can of Ruin 10 uh, from Stone, which I'm looking forward to. I might save that for, you know, stretch it out a bit because um, having another double IPA will probably not be the most sensible option. But I did pick up, when I did my um, Tremble Madness order, a can of Double Bastard, which was oh, Chef's Kiss, and then a Black IPA, which was also Chef's Kiss. But I, uh, I shared those cans whilst we were at Bickerstock with um, the legend that is Mersey Beers and um, our mutual friend who I've come to know. Old Steve, and I'll leave it at that because I don't want to dox people, okay? But it is what it is. So, this is the West Coast IPA. Um, I know for a fact that that Ruin 10 from Stone could potentially be like the, the answer to my West Coast way back when situation. Um, but I know Cloudwater can brew a very good west coast i had um, on my walk home from work i had a can of the pale ale that they did with arpus and that was very good um 
which again, I probably should have kept hold of, but you know, that's my little treat at the end of the, even though it's not the end of the work week because I'm working the following day, but just walking home from work with a nice beer when the weather's like this. I mean, I did have to trudge in around the um, umbrella. Trudging's not a right word, but I did have to carry my umbrella on the walk home, which uh, was not very fun. Uh, very cumbersome, even though it was completely threatened rain after the weather we've had but the rain didn't appear on the walk home but I, as soon as I don't take my umbrella then there's going to be a fucking downpour on the way home so you know it's it's a burden that a lot of us British people have to carry aside from institutional ignorance and racism so yeah this is volley from Cloudwater West Coast IPA, 6% ABV, beer in the glass then, and it's got a tiny bit of haze to it, not too much, but just a bit. Um, I wouldn't have drank tonight if uh, friends of mine actually wanted to do something, um, but you know, I've got to be up early because I'm out tomorrow. Be tired, be tired, and do what you need to do. They don't watch this because people in my you know, real life, aside from the beer two people can give two flying fucks about what I do. Um, just, just care about me, please. Anyway, beer in a glass, it looks really, really nice. Golden, slightly amber, head dissipated rather quickly. Let's see what we get on the nose. And speaking of stone, stone IPA, like American brewed stone IPA from what I can gather, is now appearing in Asda which is mental. But uh, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed the stone beers that I've had, but we're not talking about stone, we're talking about cloud water. Looks good, let's give it a sniff. Um, someone's gonna come in and interrupt the review, but it is what it is. Big tangerine aroma. A little bit of sweetness, slight dankness, slight resiny character, but not too much. Marmalade, a little bit of marmalade. Oh, Smells good. Shut up. Marmalade. Smells good. <laughs> Smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Ooh. It's a bit raspy. It's got those slightly oily, resiny characters to it. Marmalade, again. Maybe even like a slight honey tone in there. Mm. That's a very drinkable I, uh, West Coast IPA. Is that a clinical, classical example of a West Coast IPA? It's getting there. Getting there. Is it a well brewed IPA? Yes, it is. That's really, really nice. Gentle bitterness on the back end. You're getting that sort of like multi wheaty sort of character, but not too much. Nice body for its ABV. It's a very specific sweet um, that I can't put my finger on. Getting like a slight Skittles sort of flavour, but not synthetic and overpowering. That's really, really intriguing. I think that's a, a very modest attempt at a West Coast IPA. Is it a classic example or attempt? Not really. Is it a satisfying drinking experience, which should be the most important thing? Then yeah, and I get it. it, it's got those West Coast vibes about it, but it just needs a little bit more pungency for me. Uh, but that's just a very, very personal preference with these sorts of beers. But no, that, that's really, really nice, actually. Highly recommended. If you just want a really nice crushable 6% AV shut up, um, IP, West Coast styled IPA then do you know what i've tasted much worse examples um but it it's not going to scratch that west coast itch 
that you have. But like I said, thankfully, um, all of a sudden, we're seeing uh, more stone beers coming back to the UK. Yeah, one of the goats. Um, I feel like I've, you know, waxed lyrical more about um, stone than I've actually talked about Cloudwater. Cloudwater, one of my favourite breweries. Always, I mean, Chubbles is, you know, an experience in of itself. But this is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, I've had much worse examples of West Coast IPA. But again, it's just missing that one thing that you can't put your finger on. But you know what you're talking about. Anyway, so if you tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Uh, links in the description. This is a partially cooked uh, fry. Southern fried seasoning uh, from uh, Farm Foods. I know for a fact that though the rest of those chips are going to be completely overcooked and Madonna kebabs going to be probably burnt as well. So very crispy, uh, fatty tea tonight for a crispy, fatty boy. Anyway, if you tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Links, as always, in the description. And yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Cheers for watching. Y'all take care. Don't say y'all. You're not American. And I shall... See you later, and what the fuck is going on with my hair? Bye.